Welcome to PDF Liner Easy Guides. In this video, we'll dive into the recently updated W9 Form 2024. Whether this is your first time or you're a form filling pro, we promise a quick and easy guide to get you through it. Let's get started. W9 is the IRS recognized way to request a US person's tax information. Businesses commonly use it to collect social security numbers or employer identification numbers from their freelance talents and contractors to fill out 1099 report forms correctly. If you are about to receive a payment for $600 or more and have a U.S. tax ID number, you should fill out the W-9 to certify your TIN for tax reporting purposes. The requester will then fill out a 1099 form, report the payment to the IRS, and send you a copy for your tax return. Now let us show you how to fill out your W-9 form using PDF Liner first of all, open the form by clicking the link in the description. Let's see what is new in the form. Line 3A clarified, the IRS added a note for LLCs treated as disregarded entities. Instead of checking the LLC box and specifying a type with a letter, you need to check a box that aligns with your owner's tax classification. New Line 3B, for partnerships, trusts, or estates with foreign ties, there's a new space to note if there are foreign partners, owners, or beneficiaries. This is to help flow through entities fulfill all their reporting obligations. To start filling out the form, click on line 1. Here, we will provide an example of filling out the form as a freelancer or independent contractor. Provide your full name in line 1. If you have a different business name, include that in line 2. In our example, Samantha Smith has registered a single-member LLC, so we also enter Smith Creative Designs in line 2. In section 3A, you need to indicate the type of business by checking just one of the seven boxes. Here, we tick the first box as we fill out for a single-member LLC. Check the 3B box if you have foreign partners. Line 4 is usually left blank unless you want to report exemptions. In this case, enter the applicable code here. Enter your address in lines 5 and 6. The information returns will be mailed there, so it's a required field. Line 7, an optional field, can provide the requester with an account number, but in most cases, you would leave it blank. The next field is optional, but we recommend writing the requester's name and address for your records. The most important part is part 1 of the form, where you enter your taxpayer identification number. This would be your social security number, or if you're filling it out for a business, it would be your employer ID number. In our case, we enter SSN. However, some single-member LLCs have an EIN and should use it instead. In part 2, you certify that all the information is correct by signing the form electronically. Click on the signature field, choose the My Signature option, use one of the three methods provided by PDF Liner to create a signature, and choose the current date. Most payments don't require a signature on W-9 so you might skip this step. However, if you are filling out the form to get interest or dividends, you must sign it. Congratulations! You have reached the final step of the process now. Double check all the information and click the export button to email the form directly to the requester. Paste the requester's email address and click the send button. See? The process is as smooth as silk. With a clear understanding of the form's requirements, completing the W-9 becomes a 5 minutes task. If you liked this guide, lick the thumbs up and subscribe for more PDF editing tips. Using PDF Liner, you can easily fill out, sign, and manage all your documents and have unlimited access to thousands of feeable forms at any time from any device. Learn more at pdfliner.com.